Hi, I'm Kim Brown. Glad you could join me today. If you began to feel dizzy, what would you do? Would you start running? Probably not. If you were standing still, you might would widen your stance. If you were walking, you'd probably stop. Maybe you would reach out to hold on to something or even sit down. You are stabilizing your system. You're practicing self-regulation. Tapping is also a form of self-regulating. However, just like with the example of feeling dizzy, sometimes you may not feel like you can tap because your emotions are too overwhelming or too intense. In those moments, it's okay to use another form of self-regulation to lower the intensity of those emotions, and then you can tap later. Now, our emotions are messengers. They have important messages for us, and you aren't losing any of those messages by first lowering the intensity of those emotions when they are overwhelming. You are practicing self-awareness. You're practicing self-care. You are increasing and building your confidence that, oh, I really can lower the intensity of those emotions. Maybe I am safe. So today I'm gonna to share with you some other forms of self-regulating that you may need to use on occasion prior to tapping. Now you may have effectively used some methods I don't mention here today. Please share those with us in the comments below. So the first tool I'd like to share with you is your breath. Your breath is an amazing self-regulating tool. Breathing deeply and gently in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And if you're a counter, count. Breathe in, counting one, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, one, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. Another self-regulating tool is simply placing your hand on your chest. That is an immediate message to your system. Calm, peace safe. And you can combine any of these methods together. That's what I did when I was standing in the intensive care unit in the hospital when my husband died. People were asking me questions, surrounding me, wanting me to make decisions, and I felt like I was being dismembered. And I could not tap in that moment. And it was not because I was embarrassed for someone to see me tapping. My emotions were too overwhelming. And in that moment, I placed my hand on my chest. I did the deep and gentle breathing in and out. And in my mind, I repeated to myself, I am safe, I am safe, I am safe. And later, I was able to tap. So, Another tool of self-regulating is noticing your feet on the floor. Just place your feet on the floor and notice your feet touching the floor. Just be aware only of your feet touching the floor, grounding yourself on the floor. You can also take your feet, and I'll show you with my hands, the toes of one foot, the heel of the other foot, and a nice gentle back and forth. Heel of one foot, toe of the other. Nice and gently back and forth. And you don't have to make it this exaggerated. I'm just exaggerating it so you can hopefully see it. Back and forth, nicely and gently. And you can even do this with your hands on your legs. And again, you don't have to make it this exaggerated. I just want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Nicely and gently back and forth. You can also just take your hands and gently back and forth. Nice, slow movement on your legs. Nice and slow. 
or you can just place your hands on your legs. Feel your hands on your legs. Be aware of your hands touching your legs. You can be aware of your body touching the seat you're sitting in. Be aware of your back against the seat. Just notice you are in this seat. Notice where your body touches. You can also notice something in your environment. So for example, the blue candle. Focus with a nice gentle gaze on the blue candle. Nothing else matters right now other than the blue candle. Just focusing on the blue candle. Or you can look out the window. Notice something out the window, a tree, a bush. With a nice gentle gaze out the window, nothing else matters, just noticing that tree. If you're visual, you can imagine a dot in your mind. And if you see colors, you can imagine that dot as your favorite color. And just notice the dot. Be aware of the dot. Imagine that dot. Nothing else matters. Only that dot. You can also see a word that would be comforting to you. So just imagine in your mind the word peace or calm or safety. Whatever word you choose. Notice that word. Nothing else matters right now. Just that word. And you can also tap, but in a little bit different way. Just tapping right here. A nice, gentle, resting heart rate. Now, I'm not a nurse or a doctor, so if this is not your gentle, resting heart rate, please feel free to tap your gentle resting heart rate. And this may be especially beneficial for you if you are auditory or kinesthetic. Just that nice, gentle resting heart rate. You can use any of these methods to lower the intensity of your emotions prior to tapping. Give yourself permission to do so. Give yourself permission to practice when you aren't in the height of those emotions so that you will instinctively go there and do that for yourself. The most amazing experience you will ever have is the experience of changing your mind. Consider giving yourself permission to do so. You really are worth it. Thanks for watching this video and remember no matter what you've experienced in the past, today is a new day. See you next time.